Hello team and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on Q&A session of ISTQB Foundation. This set of questions today which we are taking is from chapter 3 but not of foundation level. But yes, why is it there then? Because it is raised by one of the viewer on the channel and the questions were shared by the participant in order to understand the clarity of these questions and to get a good reviewed answer for that. And for that reason, I thought let me take the best approach to explain all my viewers about what could be the possibilities of the question from these kind of chapters and how you can judge that these questions may be out of scope. So the very first thing and very first question which I'm taking is from related to the chapter three, which is static testing of a uh, foundation level. But yes, uh, to a certain extent might be unclear and incomplete. So number one, which of the following correctly states a limitation in use of static analysis tools? Now team, we have got four options here, but uh, first of all, let's recall quickly what we have learned in chapter. We have understood what is static testing, how it is uh, beneficial to detect defects earlier, what are the different types of defects? What kind of work products can be measured as a part of static testing? We did understand that static testing is all about uh, reviewing the static work products. You do not do any kind of executions and including design, code, requirements, manuals, business models, uh, development use cases, any kind of thing which you create as a part of the left side of the left side of the V model, everything can be reviewed. And not only that, even if you talk about test planning or any other sort of thing, can be actually reviewed here. But it's limited to static. That means even if you talk about a code review, you do a dry run and walk through, but you do not execute them in order to analyze them. So keeping that understanding in mind, let's look at the options here. A static analysis tools can be applied to a new code but cannot be applied to existing code team let me just add to your understanding first of all that this is not a part of the syllabus these kind of questions do not come in foundation this is actually a test manager certification uh, question but that too outdated still not asked nowadays so static analysis tools can be used for both new as well as existing so that is not a limitation that's a benefit B, static analysis tool can be used to enforce coding standards. Uh, yes, as per the foundation level syllabus, if you consider, it is helpful to find deviations from the standards of a coding practices. So yes, if you consider that point, that will be clearly mentioned in the types of defects which static testing can be found. You can refer to the tutorial or you can refer to the uh, understanding of the syllabus you will find that it is helpful in order to find the deviation from the coding standards. So that's also to a certain extent not correct. C. Static analysis tools always generate large number of warning messages when applied to new code, even if code meets coding standard. Now, that's quite possible because static analysis tool or static testing tool is meant for that. So it will generally by default to generate a lot of warning messages for you, which you need to keep an eye on in order to respond to that. And D says static analysis tools do not generate warning messages when applied to existing code. No matter what type of code it is, if you are using a static analysis tool, it will generate. If C is correct, then D has to be correct. So putting it all together in this particular scenario, to be frank, none of the option is actually correct as a limitation of static analysis. So the very first point that a, these things are not discussed in foundation level, so you should ignore this option right away. Second, that even if you consider the limitation of it to a certain extent, if I have to talk from the advanced level, okay, I'm making it big and bold. If I have to consider it from advanced level, the right answer could be B. Because to a certain extent, a static analysis tools do not have understanding of what program you are using and what could be the possible standards for that. It only helps you in order to understand the coding practices, not the standards. Okay, standards might be different for different program. Thus, my tool may not have the capability to adhere to the standards. But as per ISTQ Foundation, they say deviation from standards. Which standard? 
you can talk about anything there so this is not to be considered but still from the advanced point of view if we consider a little more detailed understanding of this b could be right but this is unclear option so i may not recommend a right answer to that let's look at the second question which is again sent by the same person which of the following metric could be used to monitor progress along with test preparation and execution again this is strictly a test manager level question advanced level certification where test manager is the one which who selects the matrices if you remember your chapter 5 the role of a test manager and role of a tester so there you will find that selecting matrices suitable matrices or adequate matrices is a responsibility of the test manager so you do not have it in foundation so please uh, don't refer to such questions but still let me answer that as i have taken this into consideration the total number of test plan the total number of requirement to be tested the failure rate in testing already completed the number of tester used for test execution so far all these are helpful matrices one or the other way but they want to know which one is most relevant for monitoring progress along with test preparation and execution now b is the most relevant matrix that is the total number of requirements to be tested now if you are evaluating that how many requirements out of given requirements are testable then this metric will help you to determine how many test cases you have prepared and how many test cases you have executed in order to achieve a proper coverage so that's the matrix which will be very much helpful a total number of test cases planned is only for preparation the failure rate in testing already completed that is from the execution and d the number of tester used for test execution so far that is for the manpower not for the preparation or execution so final answer here is b but big highlight that this is not a foundation level question this is in the advanced level test manager let's look at the option number 3 um the question number 3 which of the following is not be a common matrix used for monitoring test planning or test preparation and execution again this is also a test manager certification question so you should not be worried about this and it's asking something similar to the previous question number of test cases passed and failed that is only for execution percentage of planned test cases designed that is only for preparation c number of test plan review comments that's completely irrelevant test plan and when you talk about preparation and execution preparation is test design execution is executing the test cases but c says number of test plan review comment that is completely related to static testing not at all dynamic testing and d percentage of task complete in test environment preparation test environment preparation is a part of test design phase thus it can be measured for the preparation of the testing so which is not a common matrix used for preparation and execution c is the right answer here that is number of test plan review comments which is only for a review phase probably you are conducting a review and you have taken review comments from your team members in order to enhance or update it so that's all from this particular tutorial team this was just to address uh, considerations of some of you who generally comment with some of the questions which you come across that's quite natural just feel free to let me know so that i can help you better to understand if that question is in scope or not if not ignore it if yes i'll justify that and provide you necessary answers for that so that's all from this particular tutorial team should you have anything else feel free to comment below i'm always there to address your queries and answer them well till then keep learning keep exploring and keep understanding the context thanks for watching the video team and happy learning